Hey, I'm back. And I, in the meantime, I have gone to and from Yosemite National Park. And we did roast marshmallows, actually. So, like, you know, the prophecy is fulfilled and whatnot. Time to come back to the sleepy, sleepy game. That's not a criticism. I'm not complaining about the game. It's just this game makes me feel kind of sleepy. I think it's the very, very slow music. Which fits the puzzle theme and everything, but it's like... You're just doing this really chill game, and the music's just taking its sweet time in the background. And so after a little while, I just start feeling sleepy, which is probably not the best for a commentary, as it turns out. But, you know, beggars can't be choosers or something. I don't know. That might not be the best move. But how would I go around that otherwise? It feels a little necessary. But you can't rotate it. Raises new problems. Alright. Start over real quick. How would I go about this in a way that allows me to rotate? Is it possible? It is possible. So if I turn sideways, I can roll it. And then with my new unspoken power... I can push everything wherever wherever I wanted to go. As long as I uh don't uh kill myself with the fire problem and whatnot. Just I just need to make sure that the uh mushroom <laughs> I mix up mushroom and marshmallow way too often. But I just need to make them not get in. That was the trick. The, the level's trick was that you had to roll over the fire in order to escape. The fact that it wasn't going to work otherwise. I could immediately cook. If I want. No, I can't. That's not how that works. Whoopsie. Awkward. So if I do this, I'm pre-cooked. But I find it exceptionally unlikely that I actually want to pre-cook it. Because I might need to cook it in the process of dealing with these dealios. I just put a mag- uh... I just put a magnet in fire. That's probably not the best idea. So you can't be rotated because you're not a stick, because that totally makes sense. Uh... You pretty much have to retrieve them with magnets, don't you? That didn't work. Hmm. Thinking about rules for removing magnets. can't really go down here and weave around you, because these guys are in the way. But I can kind of go this way to get them out of the way a bit. Gives me some options. There we go. Oops. Hmm. Now I'm a little worried that taking a break might be a bad problem. How do I have forgotten what it told me? Don't you pretty much have to like, like hit an edge or something in order to take these off? Like, like maybe I can do this and make that work long term. Ah, that's a problem too. There we go. That's nice. But this is a problem, so you're going to be facing the wrong way, and I can't knock you that way. Why can't I knock you that way? Why? What's so wrong with that? Okay, um... <laughs> I kind of have to go around. Oh, now you won't attach to that anymore? Oh, wait, I can just do it from here, can't I? Never mind. That makes it way simpler. In which case, I really need to sneak over here real quick. Don't mind me. There we go. I got stuck on something, and I solved the puzzle by not going down that line of thought anymore, because I had a different thing I could do. Haha, -ha, Pine Peak. What? There's a button. Oh. 
modern technology and whatnot. Okay. There we go. I'm like, I can't, I can't go down to the end of it. Then it'll be trapped and die and stuff. Same thing now. Ta-da! We've got new tricks. They're giving us new tricks. You, you, we're not really cooking on a stove. Uh, we're not really cooking on a on a campfire for using a stove. Technically, no, but I pushed up some dirt around it, and it kind of looks like a fire now. In a weird way, yes. Sure. <laughs> Oh, double in it. Oh, you have to press both at once. Oh, the interesting new rules we have to deal with now. Okay, so you can't rotate. But you can rotate. Ooh. That's a fun trick. Ow. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. Go away. I was gonna do that trick, but like better. Fine, be that way. Now you're all cooked up. Good job. You did it. You did your one job. Okay. Now let's... Oop, don't go that way. Don't double burn it. No. That's not what I meant to do. Put it back. There we go. Now... Get you over there so I can... No. 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 It's not what I wanted. Okay, um... Shit. My idea was to roll, turn it sideways so that, that sticks over there, and then just, you know, push it over one so that it would get knocked in. I might have to start over. This might be more possible when stuff is less cooked. Can I get the stick to face that way from that side? Maybe not. Maybe it's not possible. Can I unredo? No, you cannot. Oh, that would have been convenient. All right. That works. Okay. That has to stay perfectly still for a while. Shit. Over there real quick. There we go. Wait, no. Mmm. I want to do this to knock it off, but I also have to press the button to cook it is the problem. Does this- is there a way to make this work? Ow. Not like that. No, I, I pretty much do need to push it onto the thing to cook it. There's gotta be something I'm just not thinking of, because like this... This entire line of reasoning's probably wrong. But how do I push it over? I mean, if I can push it... Oops. If I can push it over at, at all by one, ever, then we're good. So I guess let's just do this. There we go. That's all I really need- that's all I needed to do, really. There we go, now you're cooked. And you're cooked. And now I just carefully recreate what I did earlier. No. Yes. Yes. Okay. I had all the pieces. My just, I just had to figure out my order of operations. Hello. Why don't you create an interesting problem for me? If I can get you over there, which means I can't. Oh yeah, I can potentially rotate around. 
No, I can't, because that's a, the stick will always get in the way. Ah, but now you've been... There we go. There we go. Hmm, about that. About that. Get you back over here real quick. There we go. There we go. Everything's working out great. Pinpoint. We're two-thirds of the way there, everyone. Ish. Kind of. Something like that. Is the idea that I just need to push you onto the button so that I can light myself? We're companion cubing. That's what's, that's what's happening here. I see what you're doing. I see your portal tutorial puzzle. Um, okay. Obviously that has to happen at some point. Okay. First step completed, sure. Ah, I see. There's an equal distance between these guys in both directions. So you have to co-op, you have to co-op this thing a bit. Basically. Okay. Now the issue is how to get the other side cooked. Uh, I could just hit you once, and that'll put you, that'll offset you by one tile, which is probably all I have to do. No, it's not. That didn't fix it. Okay. Ta. Ta-da! That wasn't so bad. There's always a moment of, I have to process this for a moment, where it's like, ah, uh, it, it might not be that hard, but does, I just have a moment of like, uh, what am I looking at? Okay, so the trick here is I can't push them forward too. If I push them forward too, it's immediately impossible to retrieve it, and the puzzle becomes unsolvable. But I can push them sideways if I push half of them forward. Which allows me to reach some of them. Which might be enough. Did I win? Yep. Alright. Yeah, that, that was the trick. It's just to push them sideways a little bit. Zoom back and forth a little bit, because pushing them all the way back would be bad. You're mixing fire with magnets, which I have no actual scientific reason to think is a bad idea, but it just feels like a bad idea immediately. <laughs> now, I'm not really going to back that up. I'm just going to say that it feels like, an, like a weird move. Call me crazy. And I have trapped myself, haven't I? Oh, right, you can rotate off of these if you have access to the right directions. There we go. There we go. Now they're both lit, so there we go. Having a swell old time doing that, I guess. So rotate off. And shit. It's not really working out the way I thought it might. Um, so that one is at the end over there. You'd have to push it down by just using the end of the stick. Question is, how do I even approach that kind of thing? You're you're a bit easier, I, I hope. I would think, but who knows? Hello. Uh, I've trapped myself in a bad way. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Hey, you come over. Come over here. No. Man, I'm not in a good spot right now because I can't rotate. My owl. Let's start this one over. I think I, I think we got off on a bad, bad foot. Kind of trapped myself in a way. Let's try not to do that again. Putting them on both sides really got me in trouble. Uh, why didn't I just immediately do that? Oh, right. The, re the reason I can't immediately do that is because I have to light these things on fire. 
common, common mistake, the whole not being able to light things on fire thing. There we go. That's one down. It's not so bad. Um... Crap. Crap. Crap, crap, crap. Ah, uh, the stick. It's hard to think in terms of having that stick around. Okay, I need to... move you by one tile, so this moves slightly- there we go. So this whole thing works a little differently. That traps me. Shit. Uh, could you let go? Is it impossible to get off this thing now? I think it is. Alright. I have the basic idea of the solution set already. It's just the doing it without getting stuck. This game has new ways of getting stuck with this weird stick wobble mechanic that introduces so many weird little wrinkles. Um, it would just be so easy to just be like, just to knock that thing in. The problem is it's not lit. It has to be lit. It's very important that it be lit. Inability to rotate off is becoming a problem. Hello. I can at least get this part set up again. Okay. Easy part. <laughs> Easy part that I had a weird amount of trouble with for multiple consecutive attempts. Uh... Yeah, that creates a different problem. I can't rotate from that side. Or this side. I just need to push it down there. I can't get off without being stuck. I could push it back in here, but that just creates the, re the original problem. But I could do this. There we go. Quite facing the right way for me right now. But I can kind of work on that. No, I can't. Because if I... Damn it. There's a trick where if you you can if you push it in a straight line, it doesn't really roll. So I'm trying to use that to my advantage. But it's not quite working out because that's countered... There we go. It's countered somewhat by having the, the, the charcoal attached to it. So it, it works as like a Steven sausage roll two tile rotation. Which does my head in a little bit. We have two separate buttons! Oh, so exciting! Weird how it's the opposite one, though. Anyway. That's, that's more or less the puzzle, honestly. See? Our, our go-to trick of roll into fire, then get pushed into fire to get both sides of fire. Or both, both sides of... Marshmallow. I almost said mushroom again. What's wrong with me? They're both types of food I don't think about very much, I guess. Light me? No. That doesn't count. Oh, we're learning something. Magnets don't press buttons. Not something I needed to really know, but now I know that. And congrats to me. I get to now deal with that in future puzzles. So hooray. There we go. Light. And light. Right, this one has to be lit down here, because... You probably can't press the button? Yeah, because this guy could press the button because it's marshmallow shaped, but it then covers the thing because it can't rotate, so that this has to somehow reach down there. 
And it has to be from this direction, I believe, because this guy can't get out of the way. So he'd be covering it if he went this- if the- if the strawberries went through here, then the charcoal would get trapped here. So this charcoal has to be, like, out of the way over here. And then this has- somehow has to be over here. That just raises new questions of how do you... <laughs> how do I get it to go down here? Um, because I can't just grab onto it and push it down, because the log is in the way. I could push it from the top, but not really. Do I have to pull it? Do I have to somehow get under it? Is that a thing I gotta do? But then how do I rotate out of the way? We have a lot more freedom in that I don't- I'm not, uh... This thing doesn't have a thing attached to it so I can move it around like crazy. This is almost working and then now I could pull it down a bit. But how do I- how do I corner? That's my current question. How do I corner? How do I corner? Like, you can't move there. Currently trapped behind the wall. And I can't, like, push it to the corner, then go around and grab it and pull it back down. Because it would then... Like, this thing's in the way of everything. This... <laughs> this charcoal that refuses to leave is really just in the way of all things I'm trying to, trying to be up to right now. But the charcoal can't press the button to light the fire when this thing's on it because it, this thing blocks it because the charcoal is a immobile single direction stick. So it has to be this fire. But I can't push it down this hole because this guy won't ever go away. Like he won't ever get out of the way so it has to go this way. So how do I make it around this corner then? Let's see if something occurs to me, if I go this way. Like, that's the easy part. Oh, the stick. The stick. There we go. Forgot I could push it with the stick, and that the level's shaped just the right way for that. I noticed the little part where it sticks out on top, and I'm like, Oh, the level's probably shaped that way for the stick! Okay. Um... Two buttons for the two fires, again. And double problem of I need to... Okay. Oh man, this is gonna be a nightmare, isn't it? So first of all, we need, to, we need to burn both sides of the marshmallow in order to get that part done, which means that these two have to be on the buttons. And these always these always have to end the mission as being on the thing, so... I need to push these on the buttons to light up this so I can get this guy to uh, cook both sides. Then we have to switch sides so this guy is on this side, and these guys are somehow both on the fire. Which raises all sorts of questions, because these can't rotate, which sounds like a nightmare. Which means that they're always going to be on the same side of each other, which means that when I bring the marshmallows up here to press the buttons, that the... the you, this guy's just going to be up here hanging out, basically. Huh. Let's get the buttons pressed first. Can I do... does this let... that doesn't make you let go. How much? Shit. How do I make you let go when I can't rotate? Um... Like, how do I... How do I even get them both to be up here in the first place? Oh, shit. Um... So I can't use... I can't do the rotate trick. I would have to push them off on something like this up here. Basically. Oh yeah, that works. Kind of. No, not really. Um... Um... I 
Um, how do I? No. Like, let me go. What do you want from me? Wait. Oh shit. Um. I was thinking maybe we could push them off on that thing because then the marshmallows could then, you know, like push them over and then push them down. But the marshmallows can't do that either because they're double, so they can't get behind behind it to push it forward. But I could if I go over here, but I can't because I can't let go of the other one because now there's always one stuck to me. How do I get you to go away? Let's just try to just cook- just grab the broccoli on its own, without involving the other one in a mess. It's like, that does work, because it is physically... It is physically a dead end. But then I can't roll it out of the way. Oh, if I do that, it'll- it'll face the wrong way. That's good news. But I can't go over there to grab the other one now. That's a problem. And now I'm facing the wrong way, so I can't even grab the broccoli back. There we go. So I've got both. I need them off. Can I just jab them off with the- no you can't. In neither direction does that work. Which is frustrating. Oh wait, but I- I realize I can do that. There we go. You can't jab it off, but you can- but if you reach the boundary of the map, then you're- you're golden. So that'll light it up. So let's get the- the marshmallows there. There we go. Same thing again. Okay, now those are lit. Now I just need to get the other things in the flame, which should be kind of easy. Yeah, the log placement allows you to jab them off. The log is set up specifically so that you can scrape them off. Also, just... Seeing as how buttons are like just germ magnets because it's where everyone touches their hands and everything. Just, I just don't, I just don't recommend using like your food to press a button like in general. I know, crazy revolutionary idea, but probably, probably don't, probably don't do that. 